Let's create smoke exhaust with a particle system. First start with a cone or a cylinder, either one, and we'll rotate it 90 degrees. Make sure the cap has zero subdivisions. Now we'll select face mode, and delete all the faces except for the circle at the end. Now go into your FX menu. Under End Particles, select Emit from Object. Run the playback head to see how it looks. We have the balls emitting from the surface, but we need to do some changes to them. First, for the emitter type, we'll change it to a surface. Now we probably don't need so many particles per second. I'm going to bring that down to 50. And we need to bump the speed way up. We'll bring that up to 30. Test it once again. Bring the speed back down to 20. You may not get all the settings right the first time. You'll just have to go back and forth, check it until it looks good. In the particle shape attribute, the lifespan will set to constant and we'll have it last for two seconds. The radius we want to make bigger. In the radius scale, we're going to have it get smaller as we go. So. Set the radius scale and set the radius scale input max to 2. Turn off collide and self collision because we don't want these objects to collide. For the output mesh, we're going to increase the motion streak. And into the shading, we're going to select a cloud for the shade. Need to run this back. See how it looks. Getting better. The opacity scale. We want to bring it down so it's barely visible. And the color, we're going to just change to a light gray to a white. Looks like I'm going to have to boost up my radius. And every time you make some adjustments, make sure you render it. Still seems too bright, so we'll take the opacity down even more. Set the opacity value real low. Render it again. There we've got some better opacity. Keep playing with these settings until you get the exhaust that you want.